$840 silver? You may be thinking that sounds absurd, but by the end of this video, I'm going to clearly demonstrate to you how if we apply simple mathematics to the silver price today compared to what happened in the past, we could see $840 silver within the next five, six years. $840 silver. I mean, is it crazy? Was it a big clickbait? Let me, let me, I want to, this is, this is earth shattering. <laughs> it really is. This is, this is like uh, the promised land for silver investors and gold investors and platinum investors. This, this is short, but you got to hear this because this says it all. This is from a guy named Silver Santa on uh, on uh, on X or Twitter, whatever it's called. Just listen to this, okay? Let this sink in. It was a wild ride for silver at the end of the 1970s. As the dust settled, nimble silver investors and speculators made some spectacular profits in silver. Write this down or make a mental note. Silver went from $1.29 in 1970 to its zenith of $49.45 in 1980, $1.29 to $49.45. The percentage gain for the decade was an astounding 3,733%. Okay, now this is not just how you can get to $840 silver. This is also how people potentially, I'm not giving financial advice, and I'm going to tell you why this is even more pertinent now, now, today, right now, as we talk than back then. But the mining stocks offer great opportunity as well. Mining stocks are risky. I'm not offering financial advice. I did put an order in this morning to buy more First Mining Gold. That's a company that I've owned for years and a company that has uh, sponsored Ron's Basement in the past and uh, is scheduled to be sponsoring the channel again in the future. Nonetheless, I digress. Listen to this. Quote, in the late 1970s, there were silver mining companies that, of course, had a lot of silver. Millions of ounces of the stuff. How well do you think they and their shareholders fared? By 1980, many of them have ex had experienced legendary profits. Take, here's one example, Lion Mines, for example. It was a junior mining company that you could have picked up for only seven cents a share in 1976. The Bicentennial, I remember that, by 1980. So you bought it in 1976 for seven cents. By 1980, it was worth a staggering $380 a share. So in other words, if you'd bought $184 worth of that stock in early 1976, your shares would have been worth $1 million four and a half years later. Will it, will it happen again? Nobody knows. But no pain, no gain. Again, that's from a guy on Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. His name is Silver Santa. Um, now, now, how did I get to $840 silver, you may ask? If you're looking to buy gold, silver, or platinum, do yourself a favor and check out Pimbex, the online precious metals bullion dealer and sponsor of Ron's Basement. I was a happy customer before they offered to support the channel. You'll find they have the best prices, quality, and service. I think Pimbex is best, and you will too. And be sure to tell them that you're from Ron's Basement. If you take that price, $1.29, and divide that into $49.45, you come up with like 37 Basically, silver went up 36 37 38 times in value during that period. I conservatively lowered that to 35 times. And I multiplied that times, if we were to see that same type of return, I'm not saying we are, but if we were able to see that same type of return in silver, where silver went up 35 times in value, that would, uh, that would equal $840 silver. Now, now, what I want to point out, okay, and I'm not saying that's going to happen, 
It could happen. Absolutely. Bix Weir talks about $600 silver. Uh, we have uh, Keith Newmeyer talks about $100 silver. If I talk about $65 silver, I get accused of being a, a, a shill for the mining industry, which I'm not, right? Which I'm not. But nonetheless, could we see those returns? Absolutely. But I want to throw this out. Do you think, do you think that we have the same level of interest throughout the world, investors from investors in silver? Uh, do you think we do? Think about that. Number two, what about world geopolitics? The BRICS, all that. Is the world compared to 1970 now more tumultuous? Are there more geopolitical factors in place that could lead to a greater level of appreciation? And also, are we in a geopolitical situation that lends itself to being even more supportive? Yeah. I, I think, okay. Well, let me talk about that. Yes. The BRICS countries, right? Like we just talked about, they've more than doubled in size. We know India, China, Russia alone, their populations, their interest in the metals, their explicit words from their governments regarding the metals, the prospect of a gold-backed currency. <laughs> I would say things are more conducive now for higher metals prices from a geopolitical perspective than they were in the 1970s. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Let's look at now, right? During the 70s, silver went up more than 35 times in value, more than 35 times. That's how we get to $840 silver. Let's take a look at the fiscal situation, the monetary situation in the United States. That's a mic drop. I mean, guys, Ad nauseum, we've talked about this. $34 trillion in debt? $1.4 trillion deficit? Rising interest rates that are making the, 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 the maintenance of all that debt even more extraordinarily? It's a doom loop, right? Compare the fiscal monetary situation now to the 1970s. I would say it's more conducive to higher metals prices, more conducive to a further deterioration of this. Woohoo! We haven't talked about this for a while. What's that made out of? Paper, right? That's unicorn fart dust. It's, it's backed by nothing. So we talk about silver going up 35 times in value during the 1970s. Are you kidding me? The geopolitical situation in the world is worse. The, the, the fiscal and monetary situation in the United States is worth. What about the political situation? I mean, come on, man. We're on a little boat together, us silver and gold investors, right? It's a little boat, okay? There's some open seats on the boat. You can still, you can still go to Pimbex and buy a seat, right? You can still go to other your local coin shop. You can still buy a seat on the silver and gold boat, but there's not a lot of seats left right now. And... When the and, and 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 us that are on the boat, we're one in a hundred in the richest country in the world, the United States. When the herd comes to join us, it could be crazy. Hey guys, thank you for joining me today. You are the best. I appreciate you. Please uh, come back. <laughs>